get ready and now we're ready to go so we're ju just using our system if sl is not working screw this excellent five four plus delay three two one and let's get going okay This nice. is much better. <laughs> Way better. <laughs> <coughs> All right. So again, my name is Smash Mac. Uh, joined with me is Andy. Hello. We're here to commentate this uh, race between Glitchymon, who's going to be playing on N64, uh, doing the 1.0 route, and Yolo, who is playing on VC, doing the 1.2 route. Playing it appears he's playing on emulator, actually. Oh, wow, this really? Is to, this is according to the information in his uh, Twitch bio. Oh, we got some dabs by YOLO. So it seems like he's able to... He, he's probably not the best idea, uh, considering how high they can get. But um, to each their own. Um, so, uh, Andy, would you like to go over this category and like kind of what it entails? Well, we've got about two more minutes of cutscenes before the action starts. Um, as uh, Smashback said earlier, there are uh, going to be two different routes for at least the first half of this. Um, Glitchymon playing on 1.0 in 64, he's going to skip the Sword and Shield and uh, do a glitch in the bottom of the well to get um, Chews uh, called Blank A. And this is an N64 only trick. And. Um, YOLO here, uh, being forced to play on 1.2 on the emulator, he's going to be getting the Sword and Shield, doing a different glitch, and bottom of the well to be getting uh, Bomb Shoes early on Ocarina Dive. It's a bit slower, um, but the reduction in lag makes these two routes, at the end, they're about even. Um, and then they're both going to be talking to Zelda, so that's the first part of this. This is what you get to look forward to. A lot of cutscenes and some some variations in gameplay. Absolutely. Thank you for that. So, uh, category uh, World Record Holders by Valiant Link 114 19. Uh, that's the lowest it's been pushed down to so far. Uh, so, average time is usually about an hour and a half, hour and 35 minutes, give or take. Basically, 125 to 135, I'd say, is, is like a, a decent run for a race, um, where about one third of that is cutscenes. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty pretty good category. Overall, lots of rest time. Uh, but once you become adult and you get past this child section, which is arguably one of the worst, in my opinion, at least, um, in, out of all categories, once you become adult, it gets pretty fun. Lots of, uh, lots of errands to do, lots of things uh, that can go wrong, that can cause the race to flip. Uh, I mean, it's just going to... If you've never seen a race... Of this category it's just going to be crazy and you're in for a treat right on i just saw in chat uh yolo is on vc now he hasn't updated his bio gotcha nice all right so yolo is going to be uh going over here into the sword maze while uh glitchy is going to be collecting rupees and then Yo, uh the going to did he? Oh, jeez. Mm -hmm. Hope he realizes like, this. Yeah. That's, the rupee route here is very tight. I like to the actual rupee, so... Uh, For both routes. Oh, case. yeah. Oh, looks like uh, Yolo's getting stuck in the maze. Might, uh, might have to watch out for that boulder. We'll see if he gets past it or not. Might just opt to wait for it. So the glitchy here is going to get 35 rupees, and he's going to buy two sticks and some nuts. Ooh, two sticks. Okay, so we're going to see a attempt at West Escape here. So, West Escape... Um... If I'm not mistaken, saves about, I think it's 12 or 13 seconds on the fastest walking while talking escape. But uh, if you miss it, uh, you end up losing quite a bit of time and you have to go for walking while talking. 
I think it's like 15 seconds lost total. I can't remember, honestly. I've never personally done it. I've seen people. Oh, he failed, but he failed in the best way. He dropped the Wes, <laughs> at least uh, away from the guard. Ah, okay, Valiant says you lose 10 seconds as of now, so that's not too bad. So now he's going to do this glitch walking while talking, and uh, he's going to use this glitch to bypass the unloaded pokey guards, guardsman and just go straight into the loading zone. So it looks like he's going to pick up a 511 escape here. Not bad for a race. It's okay. It's really not. So this category, most of the child section, uh, pretty different between routes. Uh, like Andy said before, Yolo is going to be picking up Sword and Shield, which he already has. And then later on, he's going to be doing a trick in the um, bottom of the well called Ocarina Dive to get to an unloaded room below to uh, swim up in low water and collect the chews. Glitchy Mon, because he's playing on N64, doesn't have to do any of that stuff. All he needs is a stick um, and nuts to do a trick called Blank A uh, or any item in hand. doesn't have to necessarily be a stick, but that's just convenient for uh, the route. And uh, that allows him to not have to do Ocarina Dive and just do a clip and side hop down into the water directly. Um, also, later on, uh, we're going to see Damage Bomb Boost, which on N64 is a frame perfect um, trick, if I'm not mistaken. No, I'm sorry. It's not frame per it's not frame perfect for Damage Bomb Boost. But um, if he fails it, there's no backup strat as opposed to VC where... Uh, if he fails it, he's got a backup strat with uh, the shield. You can do a mega flip over to the uh, edge there. All right, so let's see if uh, Glitchy goes for... All right, he doesn't go for the uh, the alt gip, so he must not be going for any of that stuff. We'll... There is... There's not even an alt skip for uh, the first part of the solo point oh, is there? Because he doesn't have sword. I thought there was one for some reason. Maybe I'm mistaken. Actually, you're right. Yeah, there's no L skip for uh, 1.0. Yes. At, uh, at this an extra part. stick. <laughs> yeah, he would have needed an extra stick. Looks like he's going for the inverted camera here. He's smart. If you're good at inverted Swag camera, you're smart. Nice bomb. Oh, cool strat. Nice. He's going for this second owl skip. It's the uh, west here. So there's actually a west that um, YOLO can do since he's got the sword. As long as he's got a good backwalk angle towards Kakariko, uh, you can do a west there to skip the owl as well. But it's a full speed west, unlike the fest that uh, uh, Glitchy did. So it's uh, a bit faster. Over Glitchy going for Cucko Dive. Ooh, okay. Ooh, looks like Yolo uh, accidentally led grab there. Not really, not really sure what he's going for, going for now. He's probably going <laughs> to miss this cycle, actually. Yeah, he's Which is not good. Very pressed to make Castle before night, or even get Castle after night at this point. Glitchy doing blank A. He's gonna clip into this unloaded room and swim up to the bomb chew chest. Dang, that's really bad. Um, oh, Yolo's that's... gonna have to wait. It's gonna cost him a, what, about a minute and a half? Yeah. Not good. Actually, this is going to cost him a lot of time because it's going to mess with time of day. Mess with time cycle. of day, yeah. Glitchy picking up shoes here. 903. Eh, it's not bad for a race. <laughs> I 
bad boy on this that yeah, he can do this at night. He doesn't have to get the bobble. Yeah, the only problem with this is it really ruins uh, time of day um, for the rest of the child portion of the route, especially. Also might ruin uh, Wasteland. Uh, Wasteland being, I think normally on BC it, it's it's at uh, daytime, but it'll be at nighttime. Alright, so uh, Glitchy making his way over to uh, Hyrule Castle Town now. So, let's see, uh, let's see what he does here. Doesn't opt for the damage from the stall children. Looks like he's just gonna stick to uh, stick to the skull children damage. So he's gonna talk to the owl. So, okay, yellow getting set up here for um, Ocarina Dive. Oh, and he misses the cycle. It's 30 yeah. seconds. Yeah, that's... Never fun missing the cycle here. Alright, so Glitchy's talking to the owl. Gonna be um, bonking into this tree here to take two hearts of damage from this, uh, this guy here. Alright. The reason for that damage, he's setting up for a cutscene skip later where you die on the same frame as a cutscene starts and not only do you skip the cutscene but in the case of learning a song the game actually gives you the song at the start of the cutscene so he'll learn Zelda's lullaby without having to watch the cutscene which saves a good bit of time oh yeah, taking damage there um... <clears throat> taking yeah, damage there is convenient <laughs> sorry <laughs> good. go ahead I was saying, taking damage there is convenient because you have to waste time of day anyway. Um, I was gonna actually ask you, how much time does the Zeal cutscene save? It's like a minute or so, right? Minute and fifteen seconds or something. Uh, I would say at least that much, but I'm not entirely sure. All right, let's see how the guards uh, go for. For glitchy, sometimes these guys have some weird patterns. Oh, that's interesting. He opts to go and target the fence at the very bottom there. It appears that yellow is soft locked. Yolo is soft locked. He's going to, I think, can he still pause? No, he is completely soft locked. That uh, you get that sometimes, actually. You um. Can't even roll to get out of it. That's bad because he hasn't saved. He hasn't saved. So he's going to have to uh, reset completely. Mm, that's unfortunate. Probably one of the worst things that can happen in a run. Besides VC crashing. This is about like a VC crash at this point. I mean, it's, it's not VC only, but... well so just um just for just a quick thing um whenever you enter the bottom of the well it's always a good idea to just kind of save in a race if you're not entirely sure a trick's gonna go through because uh when stuff like that happens there's nothing you can do right besides race. well glitchymon has a commanding lead Glitchy want ahead by 14 minutes at this point, so.
Unfortunately, there's no way to skip this cutscene, in this round at least, you can get Zelda's lullaby by other means, but only through item manipulation. Right, I don't think we've talked about that much. So item manipulation actually encompasses uh, three things, uh, reverse bottle adventure, reverse bottle adventure, uh, bottle adventure, and uh, get item delay. Um, so you're not allowed to do any of those things in this category um, or wrong warps. Uh, wrong warps are extremely broken. Um, so um, you're basically just trying to uh, finish the game as fast as possible without employing any of those tricks. Uh, so um, underneath the wrong warp umbrella is uh, cutscene uh, skips that employ um, touching the blue warp at all. So you can't do cutscene skips either uh, if they touch a blue warp. Absolutely. And there's been a lot of debate on whether or not those are wrong warps, but it's been determined that regardless if they are or not, it, it goes against the spirit of the category, which involves watching as many cutscenes as possible, evidently. Yep. That's that's it. <laughs> that really is it. It's literally a third of the category that's cutscenes. Probably uh, at Valiant's level, it's like half of the category is cutscenes. <laughs> <laughs> so Glitchymon here is to die whenever Impa starts to talk to him. And now he's learned Zelda's lullaby. Doesn't have to talk to her. And is going to talk to her again to go outside the castle. And to buy the Hylian shield and then do dot skip to become adult. So dot skip in this uh, route, because he doesn't have the sword, um, and only has uh, he only has Deku Deku stick, which you can't use in Temple of Time. He's only got one frame to um, to target the wall out of bounds or the door out of bounds to get past it. So he's got to do a frame perfect target. Um, if he misses that, like if he's late on that target, um, he'll fall down and lose about 20 seconds so and it'll also take a heart of damage because of the voiding so see how this goes for him it's a lot of components to swordless dot skip after he retargets this ledge if he holds left too early he'll get crushed by the door if he holds it too late then he'll just hop until he voids but there's a ton of time to do it I'm kind of messing up the setup a little bit, but yeah, it looks like he's not nicely. comfortable. He wasn't comfortable with that first angle. He's buffering it. But that's okay. Yeah, it's gonna go for the buffer. See, N64 um, buffering is considerably different than VC uh, because of lag factor, and some areas have more lag than others. So, uh, the the buffering is actually not consistent. Whereas on VC, uh, very rarely do you have any. Uh, issues when buffering because it's it seems to at least be consistent all the time as a result of uh the missing lag frames so right. it could be tricky it could be tricky to buffer in some instances well, this gives us a little bit more time to discuss the uh vc child route here <clears throat> so the idea here is to collect 40 rupees and you see the root route that he chose with bridge clip is actually the fastest. And you need sword and shield here because you need to get ISG to do the ocarina dive in bottom of the well. And you can't get an infinite sword glitch without a shield. Right. Going for Wes escape, but missing it, unfortunately. Yeah, that was kind of weird. Uh, it looked like he got the jump slash, but he didn't get the recoil. Yeah, he uh, set up a little bit too far away from the stone, I believe. Do you think it was uh, as a result of that vertical slash he did earlier in the setup? Yeah, you know, I don't know. I'm, I don't know enough about that setup. 
Something went wrong. He may have targeted too Something early. Went, or... Yeah. Something definitely went wrong. All right, YOLO. Escaping. That's good. Okay, sub-20 escape. That's pretty strong. <laughs> For a race. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Alrighty, so glitchy. Uh, once he's done with this cutscene, he's going to be uh, heading over to Dodongo's cavern to pick up bombs. So I know that. Well, let's see if he goes for any of the sign has. His sign Chu has. Those are always fun to watch. He should be able to because he's on. Well, it doesn't really matter, but I see most N64 runners doing those hesses. I don't know if he's going to go for DC hover or if he does spirit jump i think he just sticks to going through dc regularly um and then just uh doing the spirit hover so we'll see i think you're right you would know more than me how many spirit shoes does he have for hesses and things like that in this route um well it kind of depends on um uh, what kind of a uh, shadow bk skip they do because if they end up doing bombs since that's an option uh, they usually have an extra chew for spirit hover. Only problem with that is you have to be really careful with your health. Typically, by the time you get to um, spirit hover, assuming you use um, the basically like the the standard kind of chews, I go for the chew has and then like the two in DC and then the one for um, uh, what's it called? The one for the uh, shadow BK skip. You typically have, I believe, five or six. By the time you get to uh, to Spirit Hover, I always end up with five personally. So you do the um, DC Hest, or do you do the one in Kakariko? Um, I actually I don't do any of those. I don't I don't do the um, as a rule I don't do the one in Kakariko to uh, to DM. But by the time you get there, it's actually usually five. If you do if you do the extra Hest. Like, if you do one of the two Hesses, um, enter CAC to DMT or DMT to DC, you're going to end up with uh, four, which is quite a bit, considering what we were used to, like, two years ago, when you had to do, like, two perfect Spirit Hover. Right. So it's anything better than that, <laughs> anything more than one is usually a blessing in this category, uh, because regular Bomb Hovers, specifically, uh, not, on not only are they slower, but... They're actually much more difficult than Chew Hovers. I think the number I've heard tossed around is each Chew Hover saves, what, four seconds? Yeah, so Bomb Fuses, I think, are like 3.7 seconds. Um, yeah. Yeah, so, so basically about four seconds. <clears throat> so in this category actually um on n64 route you can actually if you if you have good shoes like you don't waste any of your explosives any of your two explosives before spirit hover uh you can do the entire hover before the gway cycle so that the gway doesn't come to you and interrupt the hover you don't have to worry about it at all which is pretty nice. Yellow saving this time for safety. And Glitchy is doing the Hess. Okay, so this is one of the Hesses we talked about from um, Entrance to Kakariko. Oh, yeah. He dropped, he dropped it. it, but it did look nice. <laughs> Probably still a little bit faster than back walking. But not faster than if he would have just saved it for Spirit Hover, unfortunately. Yeah, so if you're just joining now, um, unfortunately earlier, uh, YOLO did softlock while going for the Ocarina dive. Um, and he didn't safety save before, uh, but he did save this time, which is why uh, Andy, aka Honky McButterball, pointed it out a second ago.
Nice, looks like uh, yellow collected the uh, shoes there. Very nice. Ooh, Glitchymon with the swag <laughs> backflip. Frame perfect backflip. Beautiful. <gasps> what is he doing? Okay, oh my god. <laughs> that uh that jump did you see that jump that was I did. Insane. that was i was like what is he doing oh that's some interesting movement doing the backflip on top and then uh c upping there actually uh cancels out a lot of lag frames with the explosion going on behind you so it's one thing on n64 you have to actually worry about is um lag reduction and uh strats for lag reduction uh, or a bit later on, like in probably a minute or so from now, once you get the bombs, he's going to be back walking out of uh, DC or out of uh, that little hallway because that hallway is extremely laggy. So it's just a matter of micromanaging your lag frame. Nice. So, Kalichimon, basically a minute off of his PB with bombs. Not too bad for a race. Kalichimon can still PB. He could hypothetically get a 1 pin still. But I'm strong in top 3. All right, let's see if uh, Glitchy can get past this boulder here. This boulder, this jump. Pretty finicky. Never know if it's going to work or not. It's always kind of like a 50-50, even with setups, apparently. Glitchy's too good for that. <laughs> nice. All right, he gets it. It's going to go for the Hess down here. Nails it. Nice. He has to be extra careful with this first spider because he doesn't have hook shot. YOLO will have a hook shot at this point. Up, up, up. Master Manipulator. Master Manipulator probably has done no wrong warp or any percent before. <laughs> Two categories that deal with Skullchillas a lot. This is one piece to the final part of the run. You need magic and you need light arrows for the sole purpose of shooting one light arrow and a door. To get light arrows in this category, you have to be two of the dungeons. I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> <laughs> you're right, though. You're, I mean, you're right. I mean, <laughs> shadow and uh, spear. <laughs> All this work for, for one arrow. <laughs> yep. Yep. One arrow with magic imbued with a light property to stun Ganondorf. So I was talking earlier. I think it was with uh, Tixel. It's like you're literally doing like half of the category just to shoot a light arrow at Ganondorf. Right. That's the only reason why. This entire category is based on getting one arrow. <laughs> you need Zelda's lullaby. You can't manip you, you can't do item manipulation to get that. Yep, that's one of our <laughs> band uh, band glitches. Let's see if uh, Glitchy's gonna. Okay, he's not gonna go for the uh, has. To Uh, YOLO, uh, wasting two chews before speaking to Zelda. That's, uh, unfortunate. I don't know if he goes for Spirit Hover, but, uh, still not. Not the... Oh. 
Oh. I understand what happened. He, uh... His health is wrong for some reason. Yeah, he needs to take half a heart of damage for the cutscene skip. So Glitchimon, um... Conveniently take two and a half hearts of damage on the way down here. So he's about to do another cutscene skip to get Minuet without... Uh, Minuet of Forest without... Uh, having to watch the cutscene. You do a ground jump here to skip the Moblin Maze. That also skips the Navi text right there where she tells you to watch out for Moblins. Do some clever movement here to get around the big Hammer Moblin. Club Moblin. Nice. Looks like Glitchy's picking up the uh, picking up the minuet song without having to watch the cutscenes. That's good. So now he's going to, um, I guess, death warp, save warp to um, back to Temple of Time and make his way back to Kakariko into the graveyard to get the hook shot and then go on Shadow Temple. Yep, so let's see how uh, how his relationship status is with uh, one of his buddies, Dambe. Let's see uh, <laughs> how many flames he gets attacked with. Let's see if he, okay, so he's going to be going for the uh, super slide. Gets it across the bridge. Nice. Then uh, entering Kakariko, going to be going for a uh, Hess. Nails that. Let's see if he holds it. Very nice. Nice. Good. Now farm for bombs from these bushes here. and get none. Ah, that's unfortunate. So the good thing about this, at least, is he can get the pot inside of uh, the uh, grave here right before racing Dampe. Um, he's only got five bombs in it though, and um, he's gonna want he's gonna want probably more than that to be honest. Because, uh, well, we'll see. We'll see. He's got a pretty we'll good chance. Nice. So. Only wasted a couple of seconds to go farm the bushes again before Shadow. And then he'll have an opportunity to farm him after Shadow as well. So, so pretty good yeah. chance he'll pick up at least one more drop. Well, I think it's I think he should go for the farm before going for the um, hookshot trick coming up here in a second, because then at least he can save reset after the uh, temple and just end up in Temple of Time as opposed to having having to do That's true. the Hess through Kakariko. Yellow just getting Zelda's lullaby. And he's down, gosh, he's down four chews. Oh my god. A 46? A 46. Oh my, 46. 46 is a very, very good time for that race. Uh, even though you started from the left side, which it, it's a bit frames faster. Too. I think it's like half a second faster. 46 is still really good. A 46 in a race is absolutely insane. Yeah. <laughs> and imagine that, he golded. Nice. Wait, did he? Okay. Yeah. Wow. Of course, not a glitchy, that might not be a gold, it may be just a random color. <laughs> So let's see. Okay, he's opting to farm bombs before um, hookshot trick here. And he gets none. Wait, there's a rock. He might get some from that. Just kidding. He got a magic jar. That oh, actually he's going to, um, He's going to reload and try again. This is actually not a bad idea. It, it doesn't take very long to reload here. And now he's full. There we go. That's what we wanted. <clears throat> Uh -huh. 
So this trick here, hookshot jump, actually uh, discovered by uh, Rosewater, um, I think two Aprils ago. Uh, two frame trick. So uh, he did it. Um, was it unbuffered? No, it looked like he buffered that actually. No, he, he did it's buffer. smart. All right, it's smart to buffer, but you can't do it. You can't do it unbuffered to save the pause. It's two frames, so I mean, it's it's kind of precise, but not really. But uh, in a race, doesn't hurt to save just for safety's sake. Because if you do miss it, you do have to do the the setup over again and like wait twelve seconds or so. Nice. So Yolo is now an adult. So gonna see um, his version of the. Uh, of the category with his route for VC, he's gonna be going to Shadow. Uh, so he's gonna be getting the hook shot first, and then. So glitchy mod here to get the hover boots, and it's very convenient because he's going to, <clears throat> excuse me, he's going to clip into the pre-boss room from this same room, and for the particular ground jump that's needed for this. You need hover boots. It's just beautiful. So, um, Glitchimon going for boat skip. Um, he's got the bombs, so he can use bombs here uh, to do this precise uh, mega flip, clip out of bounds here, and then you end up in the uh, unloaded boss key door um, room. So he's at the boss key door right now, even though you can't see it. Uh, he has to do a setup now so that he can do what's called a boss key skip, where essentially he gets hit on the um, same frame as uh, pressing target while grabbing the ledge. Uh, clips right into the room. So that part of the trick is actually framed perfect. If he misses that, loses, uh, well, he'll lose uh, about a minute and a half if he misses it. So let's see how this goes. Buffering here is scary, 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 especially on the 64, because if you miss this frame, you void out and have to and, and start over in the hover boots room. Yeah, it's terrifying, <clears throat> but he gets it. So that's good. Oh, he's going to opt for the, uh, the jump slash into crouch stabs here power crouch stabs uh i think this is two frames as well just like the gendor fight um but it is like kind of timing based just got to hit bongo a few times but he nails it so this is what causes bombs early to be faster on uh 1.0 and 64 on 1.0 and 1.1 you can um, skip the bongo cutscene by dropping a bomb down and then jumping down just as the bomb explodes. <clears throat> and this damages bongo and it prevents the cutscene from happening. And then you're able to just crouch stab and kill him without um, without being forced to watch that cutscene. This is something that was fixed in uh, 1.2. Yeah, um, Glitchymon opting not to get the heart. So that's uh, pretty interesting. Guess he's gonna be going for the P. Well, he's kind of far off PBs. Probably not gonna PB, so that's interesting that he'd not get the heart. And Glitchy going hard here. Yeah. Um, the thing about not getting at least more than three hearts is there's a trick much later on the run called Void Warp where you depend on rocks not hitting you, but that's RNG based um, with three hearts because you need, I believe you need anything over two and a half hearts in order to do the trick. Um, but yeah, if you take damage at any point during that with just three hearts, you have to die and then do the trick over again. So uh, that does waste a lot of time to Lichimon serene in the fact that he did not get the heart. Questioning why people would ever do it. Let's see if it works out for him later. <laughs> Ooh. 
Well, Yellow here, here is finally playing as adult. And he's going to do what Glitchymon just finished doing. He's going to Graveyard and then doing Shadow Temple. But unfortunately after that, he still has to get bombs and Minuet and Magic. Right, and um, uh, Glitchy from this point is going to be heading over to uh, Gerudo Valley. So he's going to uh, exit the market and do a Hess over towards Gerudo Valley. So he's got 18 bombs at this point. That's way more than enough. Hopefully he doesn't waste any because um, most of these tricks he's going to be doing all involve bombs. Uh, so he wants a certain amount going into Spirit Hover. Funny angle here, but he manages to pull it out. <laughs> yeah, that was a good. That was a good ass. So, there's quite a few strats to do to get over this bridge, but I think Glitchy does uh, the Hess, which is um, the fastest, but also the scariest. Because if you drop Hess at any point while going over the bridge that's not there, uh, you fall down. And if you fall into the river and you don't know the uh, clip out of bounds strat, uh, you're wasting probably about three minutes. So, it's pretty unfortunate to, to drop that, but he gets it, so that's good. Switching over to Kokiri Boots, gonna be going for a new gate skip over here. It's probably why I was practicing the inverted camera earlier while heading to Kakariko. Hmm. This is true. This is a relatively new gate skip. It saves just a few seconds. What was it, like 10 seconds? Actually, if you, if you do it perfectly. Uh, it's 15 to 17 seconds, depending on time of. Because I believe at. I think at night time, it takes the guards a bit longer to f to catch you because that's of true. the time of day. So, Wow, one pause. That's that's amazing. That was really, really <laughs> well done. That's about as optimal as you can get with the trick. <laughs> I would say it's optimal because he just golded. Or is that a gold or is that just catching up? Um, that's not gold. That's I'm pretty sure that's just like the peach color that says that he's ahead, but... Right wasn't quite gold going for wasteland has though uh this is a very scary trick especially to do in a race uh scenario um, taking an odd route but it's okay going for the full thing oh no he, he went for what you, <gasps> oh what you call that about <laughs> three eights five eights <laughs> yeah he got through most of it he got he got past half wasteland so that's good he may have dropped it on purpose that one was hard to call We've got YOLO going for the uh, hookshot jump over here. Ah, uh, okay, Glitchy said he was about to void, so he decided to drop it. That was very clever what he did. It's a very uh, wise call. All right, let's see if Glitchy goes for any super slides in here. Nice, looks like he's gonna go for the two bomb and he doesn't get it, unfortunately, so. He can go for it one more time. He's got enough choose. <clears throat> and he misses it again. Feels bad. So. You still have, he's good. what, four bombs for the super slide? Does he still have ground jump? He won't be able to use his skills. Okay, there we go. He he yeah. canceled the ground jump. Yeah, he wouldn't have been able to really use any buttons with that. Still being. Wait some time for the Gwei here, but good initial. Nice. So he's going to do Spirit Hover here, which will allow him to skip doing the uh, bottom floor of Spirit Temple. Uh, because of his chew count, he's going to have to be wary of the Gwei. At least once. And here he comes. 
So he should only have to do one more hover, I believe. But to be safe, he probably should do two. Absolutely two. Yeah, he was a little low there, it appears. Nice. So he should be good to backflip directly onto the seam and walk up and uh, hook shot the chest. Oop, okay. He's good. Scurry. Should aim. Yeah, okay. So he's correcting the uh, the aim. Let's see if he goes into the... All right, he's not... Oop, what is he doing? <laughs> All right, he's going for uh, the two-bomb super slide here. There we go. He... Very nice. <laughs> Don't fall off? Okay. <laughs> so... <laughs> Got the mirror show without even entering Spirit Temple. Right, this uh saves like three minutes, so that's a very good, very good time save there. Um, so let's. I wonder, do you know if Glitchmon goes for um statue climb or if he goes for the uh, super slide? I, I have a feeling he's going super slide. These old guys are just. Too stubborn to learn statue climb for some reason. I just don't yeah, understand. Yeah, I've noticed. <laughs> that's the thing. I've noticed like nobody does statue climb really. That's like like uh, people that have been playing for a very long time for some reason. It's actually talking about myself. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't pick up on the irony of that. That's true at the same time, at least in my experience. So those Armos guys have a uh, 50% chance, if I'm not mistaken, dropping bombs. Is that correct? I think so. It's 50% chance drop. Oh, look at this. Oh my goodness. Glitchymon going from 0 to 20 real quick. That is really good RNG. Um, but looks like okay, he's going to so be going for the super. Going to the top side. Taking the safe way out and killing the Skulltula. What is he? Okay, he's he's good. He's all right. So we don't really get a chance to see this that much because only a few players do this that I've seen anymore. I know this Valiant is... Link does. Mary does it. Like, apparently, Glitchy does it. This is technically the fastest way, but it's only faster if you can do it without unnecessary pause buffer. Look at this. This is actually amazing. Ooh, that was a good clip, though. It was a good clip, but unfortunately, he paused just about a frame too late for the uh, the bomb boost to work. We need him to have anything over um, a heart of health um, by the time he's done with his trick. So, because there's a trick coming up called Nabooru Cutscene Skip that's very dangerous, but if he gets it, uh, it seems like 23, 25 seconds over not doing it. Right. This is the most nerve-wracking <laughs> part of this trick. It's buffering to this frame. But he does get the trick and flipping into the boss room to um, fight Nabooru. So just, uh, just to point out, um, this is the fastest way of doing the BK skip. Assuming you'd get the one frame um, pause thing is uh, only one person I know that's like actually consistent at doing that is Valiant. Um, I know Mary is also like amazing at it, but that those two are literally the only ones I've seen that are consistent at one pausing it. So everybody else goes for the uh, statue climb. Statue climb is like seven seconds slower than uh, one bomb pause perfect, or one one pause perfect. Uh, super slide version of the shirt. So Yolo's let's see struggling. <clears throat> what's he? What's going on with Yolo? Yolo is trying to get boat skip here and really struggling with it. He's, um, it's like he's reset at least once. Oh no! Well, as long as he's got the safety. Sa oh my God! Glitchy, run away! <laughs> Glitchy, uh, what the heck? <laughs> holy crap! So Nibiru here, th this iron knuckle, one shot kills you, even if you get the extra heart container. So going for the cutscene skip here. Damage Nibiru down to where uh, a bomb will kill her and then clip out of bounds while the uh, death cutscene is playing. 
causes you to void out and <clears throat> skip a lot of stuff you don't even care about watching. Very nice save from Glitchymon. Looks like we got Yolo going for the BK skip here. Let's see how it goes. I guess the Mega Flip. Gets the clip out of bounds. And he's doing this particular move that I'm not very familiar with. I say I'm not familiar with it. I think this is my setup. <laughs> well, very nice. It was well executed. So this fight here, Twin Rova, um, can be pretty, um, well, there's a lot of RNG involved, right? So it, it could be a, a make or break in terms of if you get a PB or if you get a good fight. Uh, they have a chance of doing what's called a, a double and triple where instead of flying around, they'll just immediately shoot at you again, which it looks like Glitchy is getting as I'm talking about it. So, a double. <laughs> So uh, that's like the luckiest thing that can happen. The most unlucky thing that can happen is they don't shoot you immediately. You move to a corner and then they don't shoot you again. And then they just keep moving. Waste tons and tons of time. It's really annoying to deal with. Um, what happened to Drunus in his race versus Mechaneko yesterday? They flew around for easily 45 seconds without doing anything. Yeah. In fact, I mean, I'm not even sure if he got four shots. I think that he got the pity thing where they just go to second phase. Wow. Yeah, that's that's what you want on a run that's like already PB base. But these things tend to happen on like runs that are nowhere near PB base. So everybody gets frustrated. And rightfully so. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that lag. Did you just see that N64 lag? <laughs> That's because the fire looks better on N64. It does. It's way more detailed than it is on uh, VC. And also, uh, damaging Nibiru is way more detailed than it is on VC. At least I've noticed. Unfortunately, no way to skip this cutscene either. <laughs> but it's slightly less annoying in Japanese, I suppose. So Yolo getting the Shadow Medallion at the same time Glitchy gets the Spirit Medallion. Still got a lot of work to do though. So Yolo is going to be making his way uh, through Kakariko to DMT into DC uh, to get bombs. And uh, after that, I'm going to be heading over to get magic. And after that, Minuet, before he finally heads over to uh, Gerudo Valley for Spirit Temple. Uh, Glitchy is going to be heading over to Forest Temple right after this cutscene to... Uh, to get the fairy bow once again to shoot one arrow yep literally just one arrow <laughs> now there is a way to get the light arrow uh without having to go through forest but that involves item manipulation which is part of the category's name we're not allowed to do that we're not allowed to do any item manipulation or wrong warps so 
this is the only way to do this to go through and get the bow Forest Temple um, is you know what you know what I find really funny about Forest Temple Andy I think people kind of forget about Forest Temple like everyone's like so concentrated on spirit but meanwhile like the first thing that you can mess up in Forest Temple costs you 20 seconds by falling off the right. train uh, Forest Temple is something that um, it's not too dangerous as long as you're not nervous but if you're nervous everything is dangerous literally uh, the, you have to fight Stafos twice um, you have to do a trick called um, a bomb jump a mega jump which is frame perfect you have to do another trick called well we call it impossible jump where if you miss that there's another 50 seconds I mean the entire the entire temple is honestly just kind of kind of monk ass I mean, there's no other way to put it if you're nervous at all a summertime block clip that you'll either get first try or 90th try oh that's right that block clip that's another frame perfect trick um yeah i mean there's just plenty of little opportunities to lose a ton of time inside of forest temple and you really don't really recognize it until you're splitting and realizing how much time you lost right Okay, let's see if he goes for the jump here. So it's it's safe to hook shot. Nice. All the big boys do the jump. It's okay. <laughs> I've learned to stop rolling there to do the jump. It makes it a little bit more free. to get the bombs. Hooking the ch chest here is actually a little bit faster if you do it well. At one point I was unable to do that. So just so you guys notice, uh, you see uh, YOLO rolling through that hallway there as opposed to backwalking like we saw Glitchimon do earlier. That's because he doesn't have to worry about any lag frames there. So VC does have that element where they don't really have to worry too much about lag frames, um, which is pretty cool. Glitchy having a good first Alphos fight. <clears throat> nice. Picking up this uh, key here. Opting uh, not to refill his health. See how very dangerous. So he's going to go into the last Alphos fights with only one heart. Yep, he's going to be taking half a heart of damage here at uh, the uh, bomb mega jump coming up shortly. Up, oh, looks like he's uh, he? going to be getting ninth. Oh, oh no, he got it. Okay, that's good. He's defying the norms. All right, so this bomb mega jump here is frame perfect. Let's see if you get nice. Three pauses. That's respectable. So the trick he's doing here is a ground jump. We saw this earlier uh, in the steps before doing minuet cutscene skip. It involves uh, shielding a bomb and trying to pick it up. And for some reason this stores uh, you being able to jump, which is completely unintended. You know, the, the, um, <clears throat> the developers intended for you to only auto jump at places. But when you have this ground jump stored, you can try to do a side hop or a backflip and to jump. Pretty much sure here. Ooh. Oh my god. Let's you bond down to half a heart. And only um, one Deku nut. Yeah, he's gonna have to get a heart from one of these pots. Otherwise, if he even gets uh, just neutral slash by one of the staff, um, he's gonna have respawn at the entrance of the temple. 
Fortunately, there's several pots here that each have a heart in them. You know, Quichimon does not care. <laughs> I, this guy. This guy. <laughs> <sighs> trying to give us all heart attacks. Now he's just mopping us. <laughs> Very nice. Nice. So, gets through Forest Temple. Could be getting the uh, fairy bow here. And heading into the light arrow cutscene. Everybody's favorite part of the run. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty hyped for this. Um, I, I choose not to comment. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, YOLO employing the uh, backflip strat here. If you hold, if you pull hook strat out, you can just spam backflip and jump right past Mido. So, uh, the angle is not even that lean, not even that uh, precise. Pretty cool little skip there. Um, so yeah, he's gonna be picking up Minuet, and once he's done with that, gonna be heading over to Spirit. Nicely done, Smash Mac. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> pyramid Breaker. Oh, yeah. Get the pyramid out of here. No tolerance for pyramids. Okay, so Yellow now is on his way to the desert. I don't know if he goes for Spirit Hover or not, but he's only got one chew, so... Pretty safe to assume he won't be going for that. <laughs> going for the uh, super slide here, but having some trouble. There we go. Nice. Gets the uh, S out of the super slide. So that that speed of S is actually uh, just as fast as back walking, except you can angle it. So. Pretty nice. Is that true? I thought it was just a tiny bit faster than back walking. But it's either I know it's at least as fast as back walking. I don't think it's faster, but it's definitely not slower than back walking. All right, um, good. It's the uh, mega side hop strat across the bridge. It's, uh, SS is super slide.
Alright, looks like uh, Yolo is going to be going for the uh, old, old uh, gate skip strat here. This bomb count is kind of bad, so... I thought for a moment he was going for GG juice. He kind of made it so far. Yeah, me too. Oh my god, guys, Sheik is Zelda. Wait. <laughs> Hold on. What? Are you are you serious? That's crazy. I cannot believe it. So Glitchimon gets his light arrow so he can shoot his one arrow again at Torsen. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. I made my thoughts clear about this. All right, so got Yolo over here in uh, Wasteland. It's going to be interesting. I think he's going to be going through Spirit, like we said earlier, Andy. So we'll at least get to see Spirit Temple. Pretty cool to watch, in my opinion, um, from like a casual standpoint. I agree. Probably one of the coolest dungeons in the game, but. Uh, with, with all the like highest level strats employed, uh, definitely the biggest and scariest part of the run. Um, specifically, no, I'm wrong work because you don't have all choose to do the uh, spirit hover. So, yeah. Well, if you get GTG choose, you can. Uh... Yeah, but how much time does that waste again? Like a minute and twenty <laughs> seconds or something? I don't think it's even that much. I thought it was. 52 seconds it's one of those two i can't i can't remember well it, you also have to factor in the faster hovering but i don't know it's i don't think it's even a minute there's somebody yeah, in chat it, knows i think it also depends on which console you're on you're on because uh <laughs> inside of uh gtg the lag is kind of crazy when going for uh unbuffered weird shit. Glitchy going for the one bomb super slide down the staircase. Yeah, that's actually not even a thing. Is that true, Hubble? Going for staircase hover. Nice, gets the trial skip. That seems, uh. Dude, Glitchy on pace for uh, sub 119 this run. That's amazing for a race time. Yeah, I remember Habble was uh, looking pretty hard into doing uh, GTG choose and then decided against it because of the time lost, even with unbuffered rear shot. It's true. So Yellow here is going to do this gate clip it appears or not gate clip this block clip because <clears throat> normally you would need strength to um pull this block a super slide and some hover boots and a hook shot you can pretty much go around it and clip into the middle of it Ooh, does it unbuffered and nails it Looked unbuffered. Let's <laughs> mind fighting the knuckles here again. This is a one shot, even with the uh, extra health. Not a entirely clean fight, but he doesn't die. That's yeah, not that's dying. The main thing. Anytime you can not die intentionally, it's going to be a good time. Yeah, 
usually good, especially in in the setting of speed run. <laughs> see if Glitchy goes for this. Hat wow. Here. <laughs> Going to the corner of the door. Yikes. Going for the Hess again. 1.0 only. All. Going for the Hess a third time, Glitchy just... Just stubborn at this point. Stubborn. <laughs> misses it all three times. Unbelievable. Sub 119 is dead. Not really. It's not dead. It's fine. YOLO opting for strats that scare the chat. <laughs> Sorry about the microwave noises. Hello, Daredevil Seb. Welcome to the stream. All right, so Glitchy about to fight against Ganondorf, the real boss of this category. Um, let's see how it goes. Uh, if he falls down, that's a lot of time lost, like 35 seconds or so. So let's see what happens. Also, Glitchy didn't get an extra heart of health, so like Juke was saying earlier in the chat, he gets blasted once, that's a wrap. He's dead. Right. He's gonna have to come all the way back up here. They don't have Stay more chances at the uh, staircase uh, pass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. There's the one arrow that I was talking about. <laughs> What's she going for a crouch stab to get into a fight? It's Two technically window it's quite a bit faster on N64 due to the reduced lag. But also you save a few frames from not getting ISG. Oh yeah. Pretty fast. Definitely the fastest. Like you said on N64, because of the lag from all the particles flying around with ISG and everything. Alright, so YOLO and Spirit Temple. Looks like he's uh, about to get the um, Mirror Shield here. Let's see if he opts to uh, Jump Slash clip into the door it looks like he's going for it this is actually really safe in a run setting because what happens is if you die to the knuckle after the mirror shield because you um are coming from the mirror shield loading zone that's where you'll respawn opposed to just fighting the knuckle right away and dying you'll respawn at the beginning of the temple <laughs> see how um rocks treat uh glitch him on here he's gonna be going for void warp so again three hearts gets hit by one rock has to die, try all over again, and each this, attempt losing bombs. This trick requires three full hearts at the beginning to uh, pull off. Standing a little too far, or too close to the center of the throne here to pull off the... Uh, up to the nice. door. He gets it though. <clears throat> At least from my experience. Okay, cool. So, yellow getting the mirror shield. Glitchimon gets void warp without getting rock trolled. Yep, side hops down. Going again. for the double kiss. Misses the first attempt. Oh, don't do it, Glitchimon. No. <laughs> Misses the second attempt. <laughs> so doesn't want to get hit by any of these rocks uh if he gets hit by any of these rocks he's gonna die 
almost clutches out the kiss, but Zelda's not having it. <laughs> Pushes him right out of the way. Okay, so we're going to see the other DK skip. On the right side of the screen here, YOLO is about to do statue climb. The great thing is this pot has a guaranteed bomb drop in it, and you can reload the room and get two or three bomb drops out of it. Can't get ISG off the Triforce because you've already used it to get the key when you do the bottom part of the room. Say, Andy, are they, like, demolishing your house with a wrecking ball or something? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, somebody's <laughs> making lunch. <laughs> That's making uh, lunch. <laughs> yes, it's, it's, it's a violent thing over here. <laughs> Maybe I should step out for a second. I'm just used to. Let's see if uh, he gets the two bomb super slide. Only has one chance. Okay, he gets Let's it. Go. Nice. nice. So we're seeing um, Yolo going for the. Uh, looks like he went for statue climb, and is going to go for. <clears throat> Here's to ground click. Unaware of hookshot extension. <laughs> Yikes. Misses the uh, first staircase hover attempt. Unfortunate. This ground clip is still kind of the new new strat. Opting to um, display Zelda's frantic emotion inside of the uh, heads. <laughs> Not too concerned about moves. getting a uh, one uh, sub one nineteen. Almost dying to Ganon there. He is dead. Probably gonna flush out the uh, sub 119 still. Looks like 118.57. Thank you so much, Glitchy, for that run there. Um, very, very solid time. Uh, looks like he's going to get a. 18. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, nope. That's a 119. Well, frame count. I'm willing to bet that's a 118.59.9. He deserves a 119. Still, a, yeah, he does. He doesn't <laughs> around too much. Doesn't deserve something as amazing as a 118. <laughs> All right. So good job, Glitchy, so for taking uh, first place in this race. Um, Glitchy still Yolo's. didn't do dot done, so we're still waiting for his official time. There we go. Squab.
So it's official time is a 1941. You are a freaking scrub, Glitchy. God damn it. No, it was not a 119 flat. You forgot to do top time. <laughs> I'm with Chris. So, let's see how Yolo's Twin River fight goes here. Yellow remembering to equip the mirror shield. It's nice. Necessary for this. Yep, this will be the reason why uh, why we get it. Well, one of the reasons. You gotta do the switch beforehand as well. Again, very unfortunate for uh, YOLO earlier with the softlock. It's like the worst thing that can happen in a run, especially a race. So, uh, I guess the second phase, uh, if you miss the second phase, crouch stabs, uh, like you miss, you miss time it, um, she gets back up and the fight becomes more on G base because uh, normally she'd shoot three blasts in a row, which is all you need to collect on the mirror shield to reflect back at her, but um, she doesn't do that in the second phase. So it can take longer to get all three of the right um, elements stacked. So he gets past that, so that's good. Nice, so it looks like Glitchamon's advancing to be facing uh, TKC in round two. TKC is a Japanese runner um, that's, I believe, he's got a low 118, so that race will be very, very interesting to see how that pans. Uh, YOLO is going to be heading into the bracket of alternate success and uh, <laughs> facing against Claire Lynn, who is actually an amazing MM runner and is pretty fastly becoming really good at OOT. So that would be pretty cool to watch. Yellow will be heading from here to Forest Temple. Glitchy keeping things interesting, but I'm not sure what he's doing. The 
literally trying to get us screenshots <laughs> of uh, Rudo. How much water have you consumed, Smash Man? Probably about mm, uh, the day so far, like <laughs> twenty ounces or so. No, um, no, that's not correct. Uh, forty ounces or so. Why? I drink a lot of water. All right, so YOLO heading over to Forest Temple. So let's see what YOLO does here. You can hook shot across this uh, branch here. Um, it's like basically around the same time as jumping. Um, oh, nice. He goes for the jump. Like you don't waste too much time hook shotting across, but jumping actually is a little bit faster, if I'm not mistaken. So he gets the jump. That's good. Needs that key for a bit later. Ops to kill this guy here. Um, it's gonna roll into the cutscene. All right, so you can actually jump slash, like you can quick draw, jump slash into that cutscene. Uh, saves some frames because after the cutscene's over, Link's coordinates are closer to um the room back there that you have to back walk to. YOLO opting for the uh, ISG strat against these guys. Pretty safe strat. Just walk around with your sword slashing 100 times a second. So, um, 20 times smart. a second, but that's pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> the lightsaber glitch. The lightsaber glitch, exactly. The stealth has lost its nuts. All right, let's see how he does the uh, this uh, song of time. This is song of time block, correct? I don't know right. why I'm blanking out on this. All right, song of time block safe. Nice, good sit on buffered. First try, well done. Yolo is getting the uh nope, you missed it. Never mind. It looked like the correct frame, but something did. did look off about it. But it, it, the, the yeah, the angle was kind of weird. Was, I don't understand. Holding Z. Uh yeah, to get the go of Z there. Skip right to the frame. There actually is another version of this track called Ken Boost, which essentially uses uh, the same mechanics, but it involves a ledge grab and getting up as the bomb is exploding. <coughs> so, uh, 
I've only seen a few people do it. But it's uh, pretty pretty neat to watch. Pretty swaggy. Very swaggy. I don't know. Oh, jeez. This is the uh, backflip. Oh, wow. You have to climb again. So, there actually are some strats that you can employ to not have to backflip there. Uh, one is just rolling and then holding down during the roll right after you're climbing the ladder. Uh, or uh, I have a strat myself I created where um, after you get the angle from climbing the ladder, you do a side hop um, jump slash and then just hold down during the jump slash. But the jump slash is like two frames. So, but as long as you get the jump slash, you just hold down, like you can pull bomb while hovering over to that ledge and you'll make it on top every single time. So it kind of gets rid of that sort of scary factor of needing to time a backflip uh, for the sake of losing some frames. Valiant says in chat that Ken Boost actually does save some frames since uh, you do end up closer to the door. Um, the Mega Jump sends you closer to the door when you're getting up from the uh, ledge there, as opposed to the standard Mega Jump strat. You're a, a lot further away and have to roll towards the door. Okay, let's see if Yellow gets this impossible jump here. Farther away. So they call it. Um... Looks like he's lining up. All right. Oh, no. oh man. He see. Here's the thing. He rolled a little bit too, too late there. It's usually best like, I my uh, cue was actually an audio cue. Um, roll, uh, uh, on the fourth step. Like when you hear the fourth step hit the floor, you just roll. Now he has to do both of these ground jumps again. I'm gonna run out of bombs. Here. Yeah. Also, his um, angle looked a little bit too far right. It would have worked if his roll timing had been better. So what are the backup strats here, Andy, if you do run out of bombs, just out of curiosity? Uh, you can leave and get more bombs. <laughs> you don't have strength, so you can't push the blocks. You can make it past the first one without a bomb, but... Ah, uh, this is really unfortunate. There's an Akarok that has a 5% drop rate. Try so the, a there's times. a clip that I know that you can do to get past one of the blocks, right? <clears throat> right, the first block you can do the, do the um, double crouch stab jump slash clip. As Havel just said, you can safety save um, before you even get to this area. This is uh, it's getting pretty scary. He, he only has one more go. If he doesn't, it's going to be... Oh, he did oh, it. Oh, he gets it. He clutches it out valiantly, <clears throat> calls it in chat. Amazing. Whew. Okay. So now he can... What's he going to do for trial skip? He can do... He can do the Armos trial skip if he knows that. And skip yeah. the warp and then fight Ganondorf with light arrows and... I mean, uh, not Ganondorf, but uh, Ganon with light arrows and hookshot. Yeah, that's what he's going to have to do. Uh, I guess he could actually leave Spirit and go and farm the patch of grass in uh, Lost Woods as well for some bombs. That's true. Or leave Forest. I think I said leave Spirit. Oops. He could leave Forest. Or assuming he doesn't die here, that would be... Great. Yeah, not dying here would be beneficial. All right, that was good a first fight. Was a good first fight. All right, opting for ISG, smart strat to do, but don't want to take damage. Yep, oh, oh my is... god, he needs to go and get health. All right, this so good thing scary. the pots are in there. So, just real quick, uh, these guys, okay, he gets past it, but those guys have a jump slash attack that does two damage, two hearts of damage. So, if he would have got jump slash, he would still died with one and a half 
apart. So I think he didn't get jump slash. Okay, so now we get to watch the exciting wax cutscene again. Nothing not to farm bombs. He does have one chew. Somebody was asking. So looks like he's resetting. Um, so he's already in lax. Um, he, hopefully, like you said before, Andy, he knows how to do the Armos uh, trial skip. Right. Um, because if he doesn't, uh, there's there's really no way for him to get bombs. Like he could, uh, he could travel around to get bombs. Like there's a patch there of grass ways. right outside yeah. market. Yeah, I mean, there are ways to get bombs, but I think the fastest way would have just been to leave, um, like, Sacred Forest Meadow, go into Lost Woods and, and farm there, but let's see what he does. <clears throat> he can kill a Beemos for, yeah. what is it, a 50% chance? 50% chance, so definitely safety save once he enters uh, Ganon's castle, but um, right on. that's if he has a chew. If he doesn't have a chew, there's there's nothing he can do there. And also, uh, he needs to get bombs anyways, because like, super slide into Ganon, uh, if he goes for Void Warp, that's necessary. Um, yeah. What definitely, bomb drop will do? Definitely would like to get bombs. All right, so just gonna watch Lax again here. Uh, it's gonna be heading into Ganon's castle afterwards, and well, let's see how the whole bomb searching thing goes. It's gonna be interesting to see what he employs to get around that, uh, or if he ends up going and farms bombs anyway.
Hey guys. Welcome back. I don't know if you're aware of this, but Sheik was Zelda the whole time. Wait, so this is a different Sheik this time, like, than the last time? I think so. Yeah, this is VC Sheik. This is VC Sheik. VC <laughs> Sheik, okay. Okay, gotcha. So, it's not the real Sheik then. <laughs> Just kidding. Don't beat me up. Please don't hurt me, guys. I don't want like she... to get beat All right, so let's see how um, Yolo does in the uh, Ganon's castle portion of the run. Uh, he's got five hearts, so that's good. <laughs> I can't count how many times I've gotten stuck in that exact same place. Yeah, I, d I don't opt uh, to back walk there anymore even though it's a little faster because I've actually fallen down into the lava <laughs> oh wow yeah so I, I won't uh, laugh at you I've done the same thing <laughs> I back walk there though I think back walking into the castle itself is a bit faster as long as you have a good angle nice he's got a chew and he's safety saving brilliant my man <laughs> Praying. Oh, that's unfortunate. I thought for a moment he was about to save again. That would have been very unfortunate. Glitchimon summoning Rudos um, all over this tree here. <laughs> you know, an interesting thought is just dumb thought. You could almost click for um, trial skip and then use the uh, chew setup for like low percent MST for uh, Void Warp. But you still have to fight. Still have to fight Ganon. Slow way. Second try. He needs a safety save. Safety save, sir. For the Mega Side Op trial skip, smart in this situation with such a low bomb count. Oh, unfortunately, he gets, he gets the distance, Mega Side Hop. Glitchimon trying to give the chat a, <laughs> uh, a seizure with all this. Uh... <laughs> What is happening? <laughs> nice. You can see Charles Skip. He's got... He's bomb perfect right now, actually. Uh, I mean, he could go for the one bomb super slide into Ganon, but... Kind of monka ass. I mean, it's 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 a nail it's a nail biter, having to do a one bomb super slide into to Ganon. But I definitely recommend everybody learn how to do it as a backup strat, because it will happen to you someday where you need to do it. Donalfo's not being nice to Yolo. Gets through them though.
Going for IST strats again for the Stealthos. Not much slower and much safer for sure. I think he forgot to store a jump slash though. <laughs> Glitchy stream. <laughs> oh no, Yolo died to the knuckles. That's unfortunate. Oh, no. Unfortunately, dying to the knuckles there does lose about a minute at a time, so it is a pretty, pretty brutal time loss. Like. In a run setting, it's not, it's the worst. One of the many things that can kill your run once you think it's over. I've literally heard people right before they're going to go into Ganon's castle say, Yay, I'm about to get a BB, yay. And mm -hmm. then something happens and they're resetting. And they're like, damn, I jinxed it. <laughs> yes, you did. Because Ganon's castle is not free. To tackle them one at a time. No shame in this. A little bit of shame. If he got the health from the hearts, like if he got one more heart, he could be a bit more uh, crazy. Oh, they do. They do four hearts of damage. Yeah, he's got five, so he would be able to. Like I'm saying, he'd be able to take at least one hit. But of course, you don't want that to happen. Right. <clears throat> Better safe than sorry. All right, let's go. All right, I'm gonna try and get uh, an interview here from uh, Glitchymon while we're watching Yolo clean up the rest of the uh, the run here. Um, Glitch is uh, preparing for the um, first weekly of the OTR tournament, so he won't be able to join us for an interview, sadly. Ah, that's unfortunate. All right, well, good luck to him in that. Uh, maybe we can catch Yolo afterwards then, if he's uh. We see on Glitchy's stream is ideal beauty. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's let's see how Yolo does with the, the uh, Ganondorf fight here. Nice. So goes for the slash. Just needs to get ISG. Back up a little bit. Oh, does he get it? He got it. Nice. All right, so he's got a got a solid Ganondorf. Yeah, that's a fine fight. As long as you don't get it in two cycles, it's it's pretty fair.
Okay, will he get rock trolled? Certainly hope not. <laughs> See what happened. Opting not to go for initial position. Okay, good setup. And he looks safe from the rocks. It's a not good angle for Void War. Uh, not entirely sure. Alright, good. That one looked just fine. He did. It's like right. he wasn't holding up the entire time, so that was kind of scary. I was distracted by uh, whatever <laughs> glitch he's doing. <laughs> Alright, no double kiss. And no single kiss. Gets pushed out of the way. Denied. Denied the frame of save. Reset. <laughs> Okay, we've got one chance here. Well, there it goes. <laughs> That's very unfortunate. And not even attempting a one bomb super slide, unfortunately. But maybe saving the bomb for a uh, void warp in case he dies. Maybe that yellow doesn't know. Oh, bombs? Please get some bombs. Very good call. Now he can do void warp 20 more times. Very smart. Definitely run away from Zo. Oh my god. <laughs> almost got destroyed by Ganon. Also, uh, light arrows can be quite effective here in shoot. Yeah, light arrows are better to use. Oh my god! <laughs> 
Just uh, shout out to the shield. You can actually shield that attack as long as you are targeting Ganon. And you can light arrow him in the face to stun him for five seconds. Shout outs to that uh, knowledge. Not being employed, unfortunately. That angle is a little wide, but maybe okay. Barely. Gonna be able to go for the super slide again. Mmm, he's dangerously close to crashing here. Loading the wrong room. As long as he gets the super slide, uh, he'll be good to go. He won't have to worry about using hookshot, light arrows, bombs on the first phase. He can just jump slash. And we get to skip the collapse cutscene this time, so it's pretty exciting. Okay, so here's how the fight's supposed to go <laughs> with the Master Sword. Run away. Okay. Not a bad first phase. <clears throat> so one more jump slash to the face and four more crouch stabs to the tail. This race is officially over. It's been a real nail biter for sure. GG. Let's see what the official time is. GG. He doesn't forget. Hope he doesn't forget to dot done. Ah, he's on the case. I see. It. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm watching glitchy stream. <laughs> Jeez, Glitchy stream is insane. <laughs> God damn it, Glitchy. <laughs> I 
I'm only angry because I don't know how to do this. Are we still live? Yes, we are. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Probably the, the page broke, right? Yeah, the page yeah. broke. It's back. Sorry. Um, so, yeah. This was the race. Um, Glitchy was, was clearly the favorite to win here. Yeah. Didn't expect these first to rounds. Win yeah, these first round seeds, they generally tend to be a little unbalanced. Congratulations to Yellow TDQ though for sticking it out and finishing and just making it. Yeah, interesting. absolutely. I just want to say thank you to both runners for being uh, partakers in this uh, uh, tournament this year. Uh, shout outs to Glitchy with the 119, an amazing run for a race. And he's going to be advancing again to f uh, face against uh, TKC, Japanese runner that's got a, one, a low 118. <laughs> Uh, Yolo is going to be going into the bracket of alternate success to face off against Claire Lynn. Um, so that'll be another interesting matchup to watch. Um, so thanks a lot, everybody that came and watched and appreciate y'all being here. And thanks to ZSR for having um, having us, me and Andy, as commentators. Absolutely. It was a lot of fun. Indeed. Thanks for doing it again, guys. Um, I'm kind of showing you out of the door. Just cause this took, a lot, this, took, this took a lot longer than I expected, and like the next stream is already in line. So, um, okay. Thank you, again for, thank you again for doing the commentary. Shout out to Glitchy and Yolo. Um, and we'll be back with more No I Am Wrong Boy uh, action for pretty much every day for the next month or something. It feels like. Yep. Um, so yeah. Thank you. Thanks for watching, everyone, and okay. uh, catch you all in like. 50 minutes when the OTR stream starts. Bye bye. See you. Thanks.